Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Five people are lost at sea, presumed dead after boarding an experimental and untested submarine. Their intention was to go explore the Titanic. The CEO, Stockton Rush, when crafting his team, said he specifically avoided the expertise of 50-year-old white guys, opting instead for a younger, diverse team that would inspire. In his words, There are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have... Uh, gentlemen who were ex-military submariners and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50 year old white guys um, I wanted our team to be younger to be inspirational and I'm not going to inspire a 16 year old to, to go pursue marine technology but a 25 year old uh, you know who's a sub pilot or a, a platform operator or one of our techs can be inspirational and so we've really tried to to get um, very intelligent, motivated, younger individuals involved because we're doing things that are completely new. That CEO stalked and rush after having committed a bunch of people to a watery grave, um, implying that the new things that they are doing, the completely new things, are not testing equipment and then <laughs> dying as an immediate result of untested equipment. That, believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, that is not completely new. That's that's pretty popular. Black man Kyle here. And if you've followed this channel for long enough, you know that I take issue with people prioritizing diversity and age or whatever discriminatory garbage over skill, expertise, or talent. So five people climb aboard this sketchy submarine with four people having signed a death waiver. Experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? Five billionaires climb into a tomb that can only be opened from the outside. Ocean Gate avoided having any of their subs professionally inspected, claiming that it would stifle innovation avoided hiring 50 year old white men <laughs> because they weren't inspirational enough and now people are dead this is history now you clowns jumped aboard a sketchy submarine to go see the titanic soon we will go down to see the sketchy untested submarine and hopefully bring it back to the surface to see what happened what went wrong in this sub that can only be opened from the outside my sub guy i'm gonna leave a link in the description he says that the carbon fiber probably shattered and that if anything went wrong there was likely no way to vent the i mean a, a number of things could have gone wrong first the titanic sinks then we sent down Titan. Now, we have to send Tit, all of us together in the world, in, in the Discord, like a spirit bomb. One subscribe equals one hope for safer submarines. What you thought I was going to say that he was going to save them? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, true alert for now. You do want people to be safe, don't you? Donate to me right now. And I'll try my best to hype billionaires into needing to be the one to go down there and retrieve this sunken story of the century. I guess Elon's too busy and broke. <laughs> you knew, Kimmy, get your ass down now. Let's see what went terribly wrong, you know what I mean? It's a totally preventable tragedy. But at least he was proud of that wireless controller that, you know, it's so dumb that a college graduate could use it. You know what I'm saying? Pretty crazy, right? They should have used the Mad Cats controller. Y'all know what that is? It's a joke for gamers. I just wish we could stop fighting as a species. We're, we're not supposed to not kick this. It's a tragedy. There was a loss of life. Sure. But this was explosively. <laughs> or maybe implosively. Is that okay? It was preventable. That's where I'm going with this. The Titan Tragedy.
is a devastating event that has resulted in the loss of life during a deep sea expedition. What I would like to raise are my significant concerns pertaining to the decision-making process going into CEO Stockton Rush's Ocean Gate Expeditions. In this video essay, we will delve into the repercussions of the CEO's deliberate choice to hire young, diverse college graduates over experienced individuals, and how this decision may have played a role in this unfortunate outcome. Hiring young and diverse people over experts, dismissing experienced individuals such as veteran submariners, the CEO has failed to recognize the value of their expertise and their ability to mitigate risks. The absence of a knowledgeable presence from the submarine community within the team could have contributed to critical oversight and inadequate decision making during the decision and operation of the submarine. The CEO's emphasis on hiring young and experienced college graduates raises concerns about their ability to handle the complex challenges associated with deep sea expeditions. The experimental nature of the submarine's design further compounds the risks as the vessel was not approved or certified by any regulatory body, with the CEO going as far as to say that the safety and caution was excessive. Inadequate experience combined with an untested and uncertified vessel creates a hazardous environment that can and did have dire consequences. The reliance on consumer-grade wireless technology also raises questions about the reliability and safety of such systems. Not an issue in itself inherently, but when you're only showing us a wireless controller, of course there's going to be questions raised about its reliability, uh, potential loss of connection, battery power, failed Bluetooth connections, and what that may do to... You know, the lack of contingency plans and alternate control methods demonstrate a lack of foresight and proper risk management. The design of the submarine with a single hatch held in place by 17 bolts presents a grave concern for the safety of the crew. The absence of a secondary egress point or mechanism to open the hatch from the inside creates a life-threatening situation in the event of an emergency. By entrusting the crew's safety solely to the support team of the surface vessel, the CEO neglected a critical aspect of emergency preparedness, potentially contributing to the tragic loss of life. The claims of 96 hours of life support provided by Ocean Gate Expedition raises more questions about the testing and reliability of the system. You tested that 96 hours? You tested that? Without thorough testing in a controlled environment such as simulating toxic gas levels or prolonged operation, the CEO's decision to rely on unverified figures jeopardizes the safety of the crew and, moreover, the absence of emergency air breathing systems and effective methods to mitigate toxic gas or smoke in the capsule highlights a severe oversight in ensuring the survival of the crew in emergency situations. This tragedy regarding the Titan serves as a stark reminder of the critical importance of experience, expertise, and rigorous safety measures in high-risk ventures like deep-sea expeditions. The decision of Ocean Gate's CEO to prioritize youth and diversity over subject matter expertise has had devastating consequences. By neglecting the lessons learned from established industries and failing to implement proven safety protocols, the CEO's choices have compromised the lives of the crew members. This tragedy should serve as a reminder that safety should come first. I hate to say it and to have it be real, but in this scenario, you get woke, you go dead. If you found this video informative, please like it, please leave a comment. This could be the beginning of a saga because I am so excited to read more about this. This is just a summary. Some people jumped on this 
sub that you're looking at with with a, a young crew and wireless controllers whoa i have a sub guy go listen to him the link is in the description go listen to him and then tell me what i should be reading next dia has sent me pages of links of people just just a roasting